The Fall of Masada, 73 AD. Masada was built atop a rock, its sheer cliffs rising out of the deep ravine surrounding it. The Roman siege force faced the problem of how to get their siege towers up to the walls of the fortress at the top of the cliffs. They first built a siege wall around the whole of the rock, except for the impassable areas. The wall, which was equipped with catapults, completely isolated the defenders, yet there was little prospect of vanquishing them quickly by starving them out, for there were abundant stores of food and water inside. Silva chose a site to the west of Masada, where there is a low saddle between the two surrounding ravines, and began a ramp of the so-called White Rock up to the defender's wall, a height of 300 cubits. At 200 cubits, the Romans raised a platform of wood and iron, 50 cubits tall. On this, they placed a siege tower reaching a further 60 cubits, its top thus standing about 20 feet above the walls of Masada. The wall was breached with the aid of an iron battering ram on May the 1st, 73 AD. The defenders hastily put up a barricade of wood which the Romans tried to burn down. Initially they had the wind against them, but later in the day it changed and the barricade caught fire and burned. With victory assured, the Romans put off their final assault until the next day. But the 960 defenders of Masada, men, women and children, the last vestiges of open defiance against Rome in the First Jewish War, committed suicide during the night.